Testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Hello. Okay. I'm my voice is up. Okay. I can mute my stream on my end, get my hair out of my ear, and all right. All right. So there is a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> Yeah, there's gonna be a all right. And hello, Pitmon. <coughs> oh, also. No, I forgot to tag that tweet, Andrew Wilds, but whatever. Yep. Hell yeah, but... We have some science to do. Uh, did Ruby have a nightmare? Ah, uh, probably. Yeah. What on earth was that? God. I almost forgot what all we did. Okay. Oh, okay. yeah, frozen jellyfish, feldspar camp. That a part of me wonders if that's like the deepest point of Dark Bramble. Because it's like so many layers into it. But I guess we'll find out. Find out soon enough, actually. Um. <sighs> oh boy. Alright. Uh, I am... I'm excited. Because... We're going to finally... Get... To... Oh, sorry. Just got distracted by something on my end. That made a sound when it shouldn't have. Alright, now it shouldn't. Oh. Uh, to root from Pitmon. So we learned something last time, thanks to Feldspar. We've learned quite a bit, thanks to Feldspar. We learned how to get to the core of Giant's Deep, which I guess not listed there yet, but yeah, the core, you know, surrounded in electricity, and we found out that the jellyfishes are perfect insulators to that electricity. Ocean depths there. Oh. Oh, there it is. Yeah, some sort of electrical field surrounds the, pl the planet's core. Ah, that, it's so beautiful. But, we also found out, surprisingly, that the uh, anglerfish are also territorial, apparently. Which is interesting, that they don't like being around each other. Except for what looked like the breeding ground. Because there were so many there. My goodness, there were so many in that breeding ground, which I'm guessing is where the vessel is. I'm absolute. I'm if I I wouldn't bet real money, but if I <laughs> if I if I was a betting woman, I would bet the vessel is located in the fuck in the uh, breeding ground. Ah, excuse me, let me drink some water. Oh yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be fun. Lesson, um, what? 
Are you... Lesson from what, I guess I should say. The jellyfish? Purple? Oh. I mean, I don't know if we... From last time, I don't know if we learned anything... New. Like... We already learned... You know, the Tower of Quantum Trials. Yeah, I know, and that was that, like, observing quantum object, observing an image of a quantum object, these are the same. Yeah. We didn't learn anything new that we didn't learn from the session before. Or the session before last, I should say. But, yeah. But yeah, unless anyone wants a recap of we're going through. Oh. <laughs> oh, hello, Sand Dolphin. Yeah. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> I'm glad to hear that you're so overjoyed that as soon as I mentioned, or that Gabra was mentioned, I was like, oh, I wish the Sand Dolphin was here. <laughs> but yeah. Let's get to it. Alright. Giant Steep. I wish I can use the, uh... What am I thinking of? That's us. I was gonna say I wish I can use the takeoff, uh, camera view, but, like, that automatically wants to align you to what planet you're logged onto. So, <laughs> before I knew that, it does a whole lot of weird things. Let's see here. Can I remember? I wonder what island that is. It might be Gap. No, I think it's statue. Pardon me, won't say it's statue. Let's see if I can remember where on Giant's Deep the uh Huh. Ah. Wow. We Wow. What the pain detention? Clockwise, clockwise. You're counterclockwise, I think. Yeah, you are. Dang that it. You're counterclockwise. Let me in. Alright. I hope Twitch likes you as well. Okay, here's the thing that I wasn't sure of last time, because, like, I now know I have to use these to try to get into the core, but I'm not sure how. Because they're kind of coded. Aha! Uh -huh. I had to wait for. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I don't like that. Hmm. Do you. You think I had to be on foot? I wouldn't doubt that. That would make sense. Err. Hmm. You know what? 
Okay, now what, what's the worst that can happen? I guess. That said, I think... I want to repair my... I don't know. Let me out. <laughs> Alright. I don't know, maybe a bit paranoid or overthinking it, but a part of me wants to fix my electrical systems before I uh before I start doing some wonky stuff. Ah yes. Oh okay, I can just stand under it. Alright. Counterclockwise. Hello. Thank you. All right, yeah. I was afraid that it had to be on foot because I don't know what these things will do to uh, a me. Because yeah, I don't think my ship could fit in there. feels very bad, but works, and I'm not dead, somehow. Well, they'll either kill you or they won't. I mean... Yeah. Why are these things going... I don't know... I'm not really hovering, though, is the thing. Gas, but at the same time, I don't think I hover, though. Okay, I do hover there. Ah, oh, this place is gorgeous. Bonk. Alright. I didn't really take a look outside, which I, well, I guess I'll do that once I get back out. Alright. There are so many things to do. The launch module. Uh, Ashwin. Yep. Third eye statue. Gorgeous. All right. Um. Actually, do you have anything interesting to say? Uh, pro day. Okay. Jarl, mm, I have exciting news. Privet, the Ash Twin Project is almost prepared to receive the probe data from the orbital probe cannon. Rami is adding some finishing touches here. 
but she'll be finished soon. Are you in the orbital probe cannon well? Okay, I'm wondering, have I read this one before? It might have been one that I may have glanced at. It's hard to remember all the time. Anyway, uh, we are. The probe tracking module is ready to record each launch's, each launch's flight trajectory. It will automatically transmit all relevant data to you. On the other appendage, I am now worried about this cannon's structural integrity and its crew's moral integrity. Once the probe determines the location of the Eye of the Universe, I'll send an alert directly to you and Rami. And Rami. Okay, this wasn't something. Oh, it apparently was. Imagine, oh, Malo. Imagine, Privet. The probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. Wait, I have read this one. I'm honored and terrified. Use, oh yeah, this was the one. It's like, oh yeah, what, what's the problem? We only technically only need it to, to do its job once. What's the what's the point? It, you know, what's what's the big deal if we just uh, blow up this big uh, probe cannon and then it's like, no, you dinguses. We need to record data from it. Like, please, please <laughs> stop thinking about cool explosions for two seconds. Receiving data from probe. 9318-123. Visualizing current trajectory of probe. Oh. 9,318,123. launches. Christ. Oh, yeah, I hope that you can watch it too. Since you're on your phone. I mean, I hope you can watch it even if you weren't on your phone. But yeah. Phew. Um. Hello. Um... Retrieving previous launch data from Ash Twin. Oh! Total number of probe launch, 9,318,123. Deep space anomaly matching all known criteria for the eye of the universe found by probe, 9,318,54. Their statue. Uh, I think Ruby linked with the statue at uh, nine million three hundred eighteen, three hundred eighteen thousand fifty-four. <laughs> no, I, I want to see that animation again. Because it's just like... All the trajectories from Giant Steep. From all the previous launches. Until... One that found... The location of the Eye of the Universe. The number of launches used... Oh. 
used to be only 9,354. Ah, so they updated to be like, nah. Okay. Yeah, because if it was only that many, I feel like some of the Nomai could have. Retrieving stored coordinates from Ash Twin. Ash Twin. Displaying coordinates for the Eye of the Universe. That's the coordinates for the Eye of the Universe. Interesting signals. Yeah, so they they kind of remind me a bit of like different runes. I don't know why. It just kind of reminds me, you know, like uh, some sort of interesting that that's the coordinates of the eye of the universe. But yeah, um, I think I'm like done here, but I just wanted to. Like, huh? Lemon crime. Gun. Overlined X, Y to N. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And <laughs> Allen Key picnic table. And nice. Howdy. And yeah. And this one has not found it. Interesting. So even... But yeah, okay, yeah, now that was the coordinates. So we know the right coordinates, but I guess it keeps going to different places. So yeah, Allen Key, <laughs> Picnic Cable, and... Or Gun, Overlined X, Y to N. I like both interpretations. Alright, so considering your first loop is the time I, the eye is found. Bonk. Alright. Uh, now, is there anything for me to find here? I don't know... How much time I have left before, uh... Mm, come on. So I guess I should look at things. Oh yeah, to continue from that, considering your first loop is the time the eye is found, would you believe there's an achievement for taking that coordinate and doing what is needed with it in your first loop? <laughs> You have to... God. You know what? There's some bonkers achievements in this game. So the idea of one of them being... Yeah, no. Y you have to do everything right. Like... Like... Just start. I mean... You know what? Ta you know what? I was... I've been thinking about this this whole time. Of like, if there's a speedrun for this game. Which I bet there is. I... I mean, like, if you know what you need to do, then, like, the idea of speedrunning it makes, like, seems more possible. <laughs> huh. You think the world record is eight minutes or something? Uh, in space. No, I'd believe it. There is a shipless variant? Goodness. That said, I can... I can kind of see that. 12 minutes. Mm. Where's my ship? Sleep. <laughs> is to die twice so you can sleep for most of the loop. Huh. Hmm. Huh. 
Bonk. Well, it didn't get ejected. Huh. So that's the core. It's a giant coral. I'm not gonna lie, every time I... It's always so funny just getting knocked around. Let's see here. Uh, you wanted to research how to do ship only sla Oh, suitless. Oh, suitless. Interesting. Run, but... There isn't just enough o there, but there just isn't enough oxygen areas. I never tried leaving the electric field from the inside out. Ah, oh, that you know that makes sense. Also, interestingly, you can find that one part they said sunk under the current at the construction yard on the corals. You can find the one part. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Now it should be down here. So, I love how it's like, I know there's nothing here, but it's just kind of scary looking. Also, this kind of reminds me of a Neuron. It's like an airlock piece that's closed at both ends. It's near the module on one of the higher levels. Oh, okay. Makes sense. But also, yeah, this coral kind of reminds me of a neuron or something. I don't know, with all the the, the branching out. It's just really neat. Don't want to fall. Hmm. Also, I'm surprised I'm not seeing any uh, jellies. No, that's... Oh, wait, that's right next to the... <laughs> ah, there you are. Hello. That's it. I don't know if I can get in there. Or if I should just try to find that other... I don't have so much fuel. Hmm. No, it. No, it. We found. No, we found the Easter egg on Hollow's Lantern. That was a fun one. Oh. Found it. I mean, the Hollow's Lantern one is pretty great, especially since I got lucky towards the end <laughs> and just had enough time to find it. Yay. Yeah, it's legit an airlock that just got dropped. That's it. I'm surprised it's not, like, broken or anything. Ah, three minutes oxygen left. Um... Hmm. Do I try to find a jelly, or do I just... Uh... Hmm... Yeah, I kind of it, but at the same time, I don't think I have enough time. I think... You think I can just swim back up the current? Well, now my ship is... there. But I'm afraid of just immediately, um... You know what? Um... Wanna do some science? Because the end times are approaching anyway. So, uh, 
Okay, I don't die. Science has been accomplished. I got zapped a little, but I mean, I was expecting to just instantly die. Hmm, my ship is now... 1,001... Oh well. Go find Gavro, take a nap. Yeah. I can avoid being launched up in space. Oh, this is gorgeous. I've never seen the sky black here. Yeah, it's amazing how deep, or how dark Giant's Deep gets. Ah, that was amazing. <laughs> and also, the electric field doesn't instant kill you. I, I mean, I was, I'm so used to other games where like, know the giant electric barrier would absolutely just immediately fry you. So that was impressive. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to, you know, to want to... It's not hard, but, you know, it's a weird thing if you have to be there while, you know, the end times are going on, and then, like, oh, I'm going to take a look at that. I'm gonna look up right at it. Whew. Very science mellow time. Oh. Yeah, that is true. Um, send off from that. To be fair, uh, all the electric barrier does to the ship is short out the electrics. But I mean, like, that's a whole spaceship. This is a whole spaceship. <laughs> I mean, I was expecting it to be more deadly to uh, not a whole spaceship. <laughs> the probe orbital, the orbital probe cannon has launched millions of probes. Well, it's. I mean, technically, it launched the one probe million of time, millions of times, but, like, yeah. <laughs> the 9,318,000 uh, fourth probe located a deep space anomaly matching all known criteria for the eye of the universe. The probe tracking module automatically records each probe's trajectory and transmits the data to the Ashwin project. I found no my coordinates marking the co the location of the eye of the universe. Ooh, that's Ooh, that's great. Ocean steps. Yep. And now this is clear. I now have these coordinates um, yeah. Helpful infographic of coordinates on your log. So, what? <laughs> um, I'm trying to remember, because I'm so, ex so excited earlier. Um, launch module. Still intact. Control module. Uh, shall we visit the found location you have not visited yet? Ah, uh, you know what? In general. Oh, wait. You've dipped your toes in 
and had you like to shoot off on Dark Bramble, but there's one location you have not visited. Ooh, are you asking me to go to the moon? <sighs> I'm... Mm. So far, I've been going through and clearing out everything. It's time to... <laughs> It's time to hit the moon? Know what? Know what? Sure, because something tells me that I will still need to go to Dark Bramble and visit the vessel and the escape pod. So... Yeah. Let's head to the moon. Uh, trying to remember where Gravity Cannon is. Gravity Cannon. A. So with my lessons learned, my spacesuit on, and a belly filled with marshmallow. Yeah, checking your system map in the ship counts as looking away. Yeah. Yeah. I... Well, it's not in the right place anyway. Ooh, coming in a bit spicy. Uh, alright. A bit spicy, but close enough. Oh, and options manual, just in case. Because now, I, now knowing what I know. That's fun. I forget if there's a way down. That's not as painful. Crossroads. Uh, kaboom. <laughs> knowing what we know, knowing what we do not know, this is gonna change our world. I, it honestly is. Much. What? <laughs> okay. Call the shuttle home. Activate gravity cannon. That's giant steep. Oh no, no eyed girl. Yeah. Alright. So yeah. There's nowhere I can't, can't go there. There's so much light. Blinding light. Ah, uh, wait. Are you in the right place? Or am I... No. That's Esker. Oh. Right. Where are you, Quantum Moon? I kind of wish I had set something up at the tower. Bonk. Cause, yeah. Hmm. 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 
Well, I should probably get ready to board it as well. That would probably uh, help. Come on, be up there. Let me turn on my light. Same time, though. Yeah, this is that much integrity. Come on. Technically, do I need the quantum shuttle? They're not the quantum. This not even the quantum shuttle. It's just a gravity shuttle. Do I need that? Ha! <laughs> I don't. Huh. That's what I was thinking about it at first. I'm like, oh yeah, quantum. Fly your ship to the moon. <laughs> Alright, know what? Let's be smart then, because I just now realized... Actually, I realized it a while ago, but I kind of forgot. It's a style point to fly the shuttle back to the moon you summoned it from. It's easier to eat your ship. <laughs> okay. Then, yeah. Just because I am not seeing it. And it's like, come on. Said I can't take photo but uh brain. Oh well I can still take a photo of it, but Timber Hearth. But uh what is it? Uh what is it? Here. Yeah, I was about to say I can use my scout, but I just can't have a uh just purely photo mode. that on the South Pole. Right there. Huh. I mean... Ha! <laughs> Quantum Moon. I was, I was able to land on the surface of the Quantum Moon. Huh. here. What's that on the south pole right there? Your ship won't help you here. And the south pole. Oh. Oh no. Thank you, Sand Dolphin, for trying to <laughs> comfort us in that uh, they're resting. But this is bizarre. 
I, I mean, okay, now, like, I'm guessing that's Solana? Solanum? I keep forgetting how to pronounce the name, but I'm guessing that's them. Recall the role of quantum entanglement. You have recalled the role of... Oh. Recall the role of quantum entanglement. You have recalled the role of quantum imaging. Recall the role of the sixth location. You'd see it acting quantumly too. Ah, that makes sense. Quantum entanglement. Quantum imaging. Call the rule of the sixth location. Ah, that it has to, to visit it. The shrine has to be on the North Pole. And that's. So, what is the rule of quantum entanglement? What is the rule? Oh, okay. The rule of quantum entanglement is that you have to be on the completely. Yeah, you can't be pre perceiving something. If you're not perceiving something while you're on top of a quantum object, you shift around with it until you begin perceiving again. And the sixth location, yeah, I just said that one is. Oh, and this is the quantum moon showing where it's chilling at. Oh. Oh. And there's the ship. Here, water. Don't like that. All right, Giant's Deep variant now. Quantum moon changes its shape. Yeah, it does. Huh. And it's... Oh! Interesting. Then the next one would be... The Dark Bramble. I absolutely... I absolutely don't want to be there. Oh, wait. I don't think I'll have a choice. I think I'll have to visit that. Rest in peace. But, yeah. I believe this is the shrine. And, thankfully I can rock it about... Oh, and here. The, uh... <laughs> okay. Okay. Oof. I... I got like this. I could get lucky and not see the brown moon. I 
believe. Timber bars. Take a selfie. Um, huh. Huh. Something tells me that if I Yeah, if I go up too high, then I lose this place. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Quantum object, the same as observing a quantum object. And we're on Giant Steep again. The shrine must be at the North Pole to reach the sixth location. Hmm. Yep. And I think I may have made a mistake here. Unless I got it moving closer. Or... I mean, this may be progress? I'm not sure. Again, once upon a time, Dark Bramble wasn't as fucked up and evil. And also, I hope the anglerfish can't uh, vibe here. But also, I wonder, where is the North Pole here? I don't want to go flying around if I don't have to. Can... Alright, let me pause the game real quick. So there are three different types of positions on the Quantum Moon. Some have accessible North Pole, some cannot be accessed anywhere bar the North Pole, and some have a barrier breaking the path from the North and South Hemispheres. Hmm. Yeah. I think... On one? Yeah, I don't think the tower can appear... there. Yeah, that's too high above the, uh, clouds. But, I'm wondering, can I make it come closer? Or actually, you aren't doing yourself favors by taking, keeping a photo. Well, yeah, I was about to say that, I'm like, oh, let me try moving around the shrine. Try to see if I can make it move closer, or move around more.
What is roll one again? Let's game real quick. Let me drink. Some water. Ah, okay. Roll one is. Okay. Um, what is roll one again? Oh yeah, the whole observing it and observing an image of it. It's the same. Okay, yeah. Where? Hello, you are much more north. It's been, um, hmm, I wonder. Now this may be still benefit for me. Yeah, I'm still all right. I'm still north. Timber Hearth is a good location. Yeah, it is. Okay, I feel like I'm out of time, but on another moon, Esker is complaining about how these hatchlings can't stop taking pictures on there. Just got, I'm just live, <laughs> just live in the moment. All, all these hatchlings born after '93, all they know how to do is, oh hey. Oh, hey. Mother... Come on, I'm at the North Pole. Yeah? Oh, flashlight. Yeah. Yeah, the flashlight. Easier than doing a headbang. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. I at least... Ah. I heard the explosion. Okay, there it is. All right, all right, all right. Now what this was science experiment, quantum death moon, yes. Exactly. Oh, and thanks, uh, Lemon and Grime for following. I was so caught up that I didn't notice that you followed earlier. All right. <laughs> Alright, so launch codes. Nope, too bad we don't have.
the uh, coordinates in the same, like kind of same place where the launch codes are. Then again, that's in the language that uh, our astronaut knows. Okay, you will. That's good now. Oh boy. And yeah, I found a dead Nomai in the spacesuit near the South Pole. Oh boy. You have recalled, you have recalled the rule of quantum imaging. Recall the rule of quantum tangent. Recall the rule of the sixth location. The shrine of the quantum moon must be on the moon's north pole. Gotcha. All right, and you have the coordinates, same part of the UI. Good to know. Also, quick question. I now I, uh, now I guess I'll come up. Because you've been, you're, you've been kind of pushing me to go to the uh, the uh, the quantum moon for a while now that I've known technically how to get to it, but I've been very. Yeah, you know, like, oh, I want to go over things kind of systematically, and oh, fuck, it was right there. Come on, get over here. Spin. What? There you are. Let me make sure I won't uh, be blasted by the sun. Also, I still say that I am not a fan of the eject button being so weird to get to on the ship. Also, who's this auto pilot? I thought we said that our pilot for this game is called Ruby. <laughs> Alright, let's ease our way into it. Bonk. I am very sorry, friend. <laughs> Walking into you. We have our ship. We have what? <laughs> Dive into the quantum vape cloud, ripping that cotton that may or may not exist. Uh, you're you're pretty decent, but okay, that's real up high. There's just a big wall. Okay, retrieve scout. Yeah, no, this is just a big wall that just separates the hemispheres. Make sure I have that off. <laughs> what? Thought. Oh, that's funny as oh, that's funny as hell. That's funny as hell. 
That's funny as hell. That you <laughs> okay. Okay. That's funny. That's funny. That's real funny. That it. <laughs> to imagine that the no mind that got there that they're like ah, I can, can only get to the, the sixth location if the, the things at the North Pole because it's like they've tried it and then like oh there's oh we're, we're just literally blocked most of the time and are you North you're close to the North Pole not there yet Now, yep, now I'm past the atmosphere wall. So now you need to head back to one of the variants. Hollow's one that has an accessible north pole. Come on. Let me go. Spin. All right. There's the ticket. Here we we fucking go. Take a selfie. Come on. Hey, it's windy. <laughs> it is very windy. And here we are. So we're on. Technically, we're on the Quantum Moons version of. Do I want that there? Or will there be... I'm trying to think. Technically, okay, let me think about this out loud before I do something silly. Right, so my question is, technically, like, at any point, if I were to have left the, the cloud coverage, or left under, you know, go beyond the clouds, I would have gone to the uh, position that the quantum moon was, like, chilling at. You know, like, if I was at the Timber Hearth version, and I had left, I would have been around Timber Hearth. So would the same... Ah, what's at the South Pole? Yeah, that is the question I was going to ask as well. Because I was wondering, oh, should I just leave up? But then I'm like, well, I don't have a ship. And I don't know how far away, how close or far away I would be. And, uh, landing, you know, trying to make a landing would be, uh, rough. Yep. I am a scientist, but at the same time, if I could... Ooh. Hello? Ooh. Uh... You're not a skeleton. You're an aliveman. You're, you're Solanum. You're alive? <laughs> if you'll be, holy shit. If you'll be my three-eyed girl out of nowhere. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, how, have, how have they been alive? If you'll be my three-eyed girl out of nowhere. <laughs> Who are you? I 
pick up me stone. Pick up quantum moonstone. I have a universe. Pick up you. Pick up identify. Uh. Insert you. Identify. Solanum. I am Solanum, a Nomai. My clan arrived in the star system before my birth, and now we call it home. My, my dude. Uh, pick up explain. Let's see here. Uh... Once you've used a stone with all their stones, put it aside. Right? Yeah. <laughs> we are orbit orbiting the eye of the universe now, although we cannot see it. Only the quantum moon's reflection of it. Huh. Only we cannot see it. Only the quantum moon's reflection of it. The eye is older than the universe itself, and my clan believes it dwells in an extremely distant orbit around this star system. Oh boy, that's a lot of conversations here. They have three fingers. This is the quantum moon, where we both are standing. Despite also orbiting other celestial bodies, the quantum moon is the eye of the moon the eye of the universe's moon. Huh. Um uh, what's this one? Pick up, explain. Identify. Okay. Um identify you all right you already said who he is but um hmm uh <laughs> right, this, I, i'm i'm very aware that i'm on the time limit so i'm trying to think of uh what all quantum moon no, uh brain is explain uh Explain. If you take one of these stones back to the projection pools, it goes you stone will not fit. Or whatever if you bring. Interesting. Um Both oranges together. Oh. There's fundamental uncertainty. <clears throat> There's a fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally, the, this uncertainty is only observable on a very small scale. As one approaches the eye, however, that uncertainty grows enormously. The quantum moon probably exhibits macroscopic quantum behavior because of its proximity to the eye. Shards that broke off from the quantum moon have a similar effect, as imagined you've seen elsewhere in this star system. Conscious observ observation forces a quantum object to collapse to a single pro possibility, but what would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? Hmm. Labs a single possibility, but what would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? Over time, this has become my eye's greatest question. Hmm. Uh, 
explain? No, I... <laughs> what, what do you gotta say if I, if I act a fool? <laughs> explain... These are... Th huh. These are the two tenets of Know My Philosophy. To seek out and to understand is our way of living. Explain. Identify. No, it. Sorry for being a punk. But, like. <laughs> okay. Uh, identify. Uh. No, what? Homie. Uh, explain you. Yeah, you should be pushing, uh, over 250, or 240, 100,000 something. I'm on my first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon. All know my and my clan make this journey when we come of age. Even through the eye, even though the eye cannot be reached from here, the Quantum Moon remains special to us, as it carries us nearer to the eye than any other place we know. I've journeyed here to come close to the eye. While the eye is obscured from our sight, we can see the Quantum Moon's reflection of the eye in the sky above. Huh. Huh. Know what? Know what? What do you have to say about me? <laughs> my sp my uh spaceship. I've never met one of your kind before. Know what? I've been giving this person that you know I've been giving him a deep voice, but like. This is coming of age ceremony. Like, damn. <sighs> no, I'm gonna read that comment. Pidman, drag me, queen. <laughs> God. Ah, Slanum. I never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I partic I particularly admire your four eyes. There are many questions I would ask if I could comprehend your language. You have my gratitude for understanding mine. I love their cool scribing stone. I imagine your purpose here is the same as mine, to learn about and to learn oh, to learn about and to find the eye of the universe. I'm unsure how you arrived here. However, perhaps you came from another star system. As my clan originally did? Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Know what? Do you have anything to say if I just put two, like, nouns? We do not have much connection, you and I. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you won't find... If you, I hope you won't mind if I think of you as a friend. Oh no! Oh, Solanum is a she. Oh, my apologies. Uh, wait, no. Uh. Oop. Many of my clan have believed. Many of my clan have believed the eye called us, uh, called to us for a particular reason. When I was a child, I used to believe the eye was malevolent to have lured my clan to the star system, only to then vanish from them so completely. But, I don't fear the eye anymore. In fact, it became my fondest hope to see the eye itself. Someday. But I fear this may be beyond my reach. If you may think it, I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey has reached its end. Oh no, friend. Also. Like many of my clan before me, I journeyed here to see the Quantum Moon's reflection of the Eye. This is the closest any of us has come to seeing the Eye itself. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis. Oh, okay. Um, what was I gonna say? Options. Uh, translator. Auto equip. Put it auto for now. 
Remember your, your theory about the quantum skeletons? Oh yeah, I do. You managed to hypothesis Lanham's existence. Hooray! Uh, um, did I do every combination? If I, if I act smart, <laughs> what you got to say? Okay, yeah. Uh. Have I done everything yet? I have kind of lost track. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, I theorized, like, oh, the quantum moon may be able to... Oh, can you explain me? Did you do this one? I'm sorry for being annoying. Oh! Oh! Okay, wait, no. Okay, yeah. Uh, apologies, friend, for getting things. I think this is probably the same. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, I think I may have done Every th oh, wait, no, actually, I have an idea. Did I do I and Moon? I am doing that now. I imagine you've noticed the quantum moon... Ch I noticed... Ah, I imagine you've noticed the quantum moon changes in appearance depending on which location it's currently orbiting. For instance... For instance, the moon looks quite different when orbiting Giant's Deep than it does when orbiting the Hourglass Winds. Because of the quantum moon's clear, uh, clearly changes in its different forms, the eye, being the moon's primary location, must be similarly, similarly malleable. From this, we can hypothesize that the eye represents extreme changeability. That said, despite its malleable nature, the quantum moon becomes locked to one specific version of itself when it is consciously observed. But what would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye? You, I, me, moon. Hmm. That's moon. Oh, no, it's cool. I'm trying... Oh. First time quantum moon? Uh, is this your first time on the quantum moon? It's my first time here. If you come here looking for answers, I hope <laughs> you find them. Uh, quantum moon. Sorry for... Thank you for being so patient, uh, goat friend. Uh. Okay, I have done... You... Oh yeah, I should do... Did they... Ah! I suppose you could reach the eye of the universe. Would you? Uh, suppose you could. Suppose you can reach the eye of the universe. Would you try to enter it? What would you imagine the effects of a conscious observer might be? Hmm. Wait, wait, wait! I had to read this. So there's another ending for bringing the Ash Twin Core here and waiting for time to end. Huh. 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 I want it. Hmm. 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 That's wild. Okay, I just had to think about, like, the idea of having to get to... I may, I may try that next loop. Because, um, 
trying to think of how much time would you need for the sand on Ash Twain to go down. Well, it's not that long. I, I, probably about ten minutes-ish, like halfway through the loop. Hmm. Also, there's a cat chilling with me. Jack cat. Anyway. Huh. Would you try to enter it? Uh, I believe I did all these, but my memory can be a couple times. Alright. Yourself. Yeah, I think I've done everything? Hmm. But the idea... Ah, I'm trying to think about the idea of bringing the core. I don't know, like... That's pretty bonkers. That is pretty bonkers. I, I mean, I kind of hope at that point... Uh... She just fucking attacks you? Because I think she would know what it is. That's... that's wild, the idea of going through that, coming here, just, uh... No, I mean, I would hope she would if I brought the core here, because I think she would know there's no way that she wouldn't know what it is, right? Now that's your tenants. Uh, thank you for being so patient. <laughs> Bops you with her staff. <laughs> oh, bring the U stone with you when you test what happens when you enter the reflection of the eye overhead. Oh? Can I? No, I did say I want to test that out. Bring the U stone with you and test what happens when you enter the reflection of the eye overhead. Sorry, friend. I have terrible dumb science to do, I think. Huh. Oh, you said the you. I picked up by you, I thought you meant me, me, not the stone labeled you. And you come back. Jetpack time. I wish goats were real. <laughs> Could I survive re-entry? Don't think so. I mean, I can... I can try. I stole the stone. Alright, broke my legs, but... I still have the... I still have the stone. Alright, let's... back to the museum. Hmm. Interesting. And it's invisible. Yeah, it uses a texture. Well... The angle found attached to the landing gear, one of our ships that flew close to the Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living dark places with minimum atmosphere. Yeah, a little sun of a gun. Hmm. Uh, to read from the chat, we have hypothesized via fanfiction that if Solanum were, Solanum were to exit the Eye, she would end up at her home reflection of the Eye, the Hourglass Twins. Interesting. 
Also, yeah, I don't think <laughs> I don't think any of the times I come back here, I'll get that uh, achievement for bringing stuff to the uh, to the museum. But I had to drop it in the front. I mean, it doesn't really load its texture in right, but. Hey, hey, <laughs> my favorite astronaut. Launch day at the last, huh? Uh, yep. Plus, we'll ever get. Makes me wish we could see what a real live gnome might look like live, but I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue we ever found, you know. And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, oh, jeez, I got a little carried away there. Go on, have a ship to, to launch. Take care of yourself out there. You hear? And the and scroll on the gravity. Ha, huh, interesting. But... So, huh. Well, I thought I would have had time me bear no. We have done some science. I met a living, a living nomai named Solanum at the South Pole. The quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. Oh yeah, that's why Solanum's at the South Pole, because they died at the South Pole and are alive at the South Pole. Huh. The quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. At this location, the quantum moon becomes a reflection of the eye itself. The eye is likely the source of all macroscopic quantum phenomena. Or phenomena in the solar system. Solanum wonders what would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye. Solanum has, oh, Solanum has a hypothesis uh, that she may not be entirely alive. Yeah. What would you like to get that ending? Hanging out with Solanum or should we call here? Oh. Um, I, no, I still normally stream or like thirty minutes more, but I'm wondering if I want to get that ending. It sounds pretty bonkers. Hmm. And I love how even after you get things marked off here, it's still just white. Mm -mm. Okay, let me think about this. If I were to get that ending, I would need to go to Ashwin, um, about ten minutes into the, uh, thing, get the core, get out, go to Quantum Moon, uh, Speed run getting to there. It sounds like an endings I've got. Like, that sounds doable. But, yeah, and also apparently I'm not connected to chat, which is weird. Hmm. Not a fan of that. Uh. Weird. Um, give me a second so that I can open up my phone. Actually, have that up so I'm not just pause so they actually see what uh, is going on in chat. Hopefully, it loads up on my phone. Which is a weird feature, but I appreciate that it does that. 
Alright. Reconnecting to chat on the phone as well. Alright. Weird. But, I mean... That sounds like one hell of a plan, though. No, let's try it. And hopefully I'll... Get back to... I'll reconnect the chat soon. Oh, okay. Actually, let me try something. To get me back connected to the chat. But yeah, let's try it. And also the idea that this has been like... 60-ish loops of me playing this. At first I was like, nah, that, then I thought about it more and it's like, actually, you know what, I, I could believe that. <laughs> so many failed attempts at trying to get to places or meandering around or still, like, doing some science. While this is going on, gotta, yeah, I'll be about like, or I should probably set to nine minutes. Oh boy, maybe refreshing the stream manager wasn't the best idea. Oh no. <laughs> hmm. Oh, well, at least, you know, it's just sort of vibing. Alright. So. Seven minutes. Two more minutes. I'll start heading down there. Or up there, or whatever direction to Ash Twin. And to pull off that bizarre stunt. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, let me. Go now. Because I know I have a habit of taking a bit too. <laughs> getting up in space and not finding where I'm trying to get to. Still not saying. Correct twin. Oh, yeah, that's the correct twin. Alright, I've. Alright, I may have actually. Is this. Did I wait enough time? Okay, yeah. Still alive, but now the stream manager is having issue. Finding, uh... Okay, actually I probably could have come here at like five minutes and now that I think about it. Oh boy. Make 
to the ship. I don't think you've told me about uh, Mika's ship. And any achievements with that. I'm trying to remember who Mike is it Mika or Micah? Oh boy. What? Alright. We're gonna do something incredibly stupid. For science? I mean, some smart Nomai once said, Science compels us to uh, blow up the sun. So let's see what happens if we do something more or less stupid, more or less a uh, bad idea. Arguably, I could have just tried to slam dunk on there, so... Bonk. Alright, let me pause the game real quick to read. Let's see here. One is a visit to Alterock with the ship, and the other is a visit is the solar visit compared to the lunar one with the ship. Alright, I'm doing something incredibly dumb. I don't think... What? Oh boy. This one looks like as a big barrier. I don't think I... Yeah, okay, I think I could have come here with uh, more time on the clock. I realized. It's a friend. Alright. The music is doing something incredibly powerful now. there. No, I can't. Shh. All right. 
Things are getting kind of spicy here. Time-wise, I think. I forgot. Also, yeah, no, I've... Hmm, trying to refresh the Steam man Stream Manager. Yeah. Um, while streaming is a terrible idea. It just won't work. It feels like. Ah. Yeah, no, this one's locked as well. Feels like. Sorry if I'm not checking the chat so much, but yeah, being a fool and uh, and trying to reload the uh, stream manager is not the best idea. All right. <sighs> there we go. Um, let me pause real quick. <laughs> and I need some water. Let's go! Let's fucking... fucking go! Hello. chat to the uh, thing, but oh boy. Or, or gift for Sol Solatum, Solatum Fight Club. Ah, uh, um. Here. Don't know what that is. Okay, you don't know what that is. Um. a quantum shard on another planet? The shards look the same as quantum moon surfaces now, while at the eye. From this, we can <laughs> reasonably infer the quantum moon's natural state is as we see it now, and that the eye is its primary location. Given the quantum moon is the eye's moon, it is likely that any characteristics the moon exhibits are also exhibited by the eye itself. The quantum moon and its shards, for instance, are quantum, thus the eye is likely also quantum. In fact, this in fact this moon is probably quantum because its proximity to the eye made it quantum, the same way that areas surrounding 
quantum shards that blend out other planets eventually become quantum too. I don't think I saw that one. Huh. There's fundamentally... Oh, okay. There's fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally, this is certain. There's only zero. Yeah, macroscopic. E. Collapse, single possibility. But what happened if the observer entered the eye? How long have you been there? Here? Minutes? Years? You're unsure, but it seems your journey has reached its end. <laughs> huh. Is this better or worse than the qu creepy moon music? Did we ever mark the moon on the scope? You and Solanum. Stuck. In. <laughs> two. Qu you and Solanum. Two quantum peas in the pod. Thank you, Pitmon. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh yeah, Unity's been around since 2005. It's weird to think about. Gosh. Huh. Shout out to Brian, uh, Shang, and, uh, Fergus Bughart, and, uh, GFIS. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know what I was expecting. I mean, yeah, no, also just being two quantum peas in the pod of being alive and dead simultaneously is kind of amazing, but for some reason I was expecting something I was expecting Solanum to just bop us on the head and like you bastard <laughs> like you <b> <laughs> like, like you dingus. And then again, yeah no, they were just coming of age, so them knowing about it wasn't necessarily a certain thing. But I just thought like I figured that, you know, kinda like how NASA or whatever like puts out images of the of the uh you know of their technology and stuff like that they're like oh here's a cool new rocket you know or whatever I was <laughs> I mean they don't say here's a cool new rocket you know they but y you know what I mean yeah they are they they possibly they possibly didn't know anyone in the project yeah but at the same time, it makes sense for not everyone to know about it because they were thinking of potentially uh, exploding the sun. So that's that. You know, that's fair of not telling everyone. Oh, hey, here's our plan. It possibly involves exploding the fucking sun. Uh, <laughs> don't stone us to death. <laughs> Um, I didn't mess that one up. That was a shout out to the timeline where there's two quantum peas in the pod right now. Shout out to the time there are two quantum peas in the pod. <sighs> okay, now it's getting close to the time I usually end these streams. So I think I'll may just call it because oh, I mean, hmm. no, I just always have had suiting up, but yeah, that wouldn't be marked on here. So we found out what we could find out from here, and we also found out why they were trying to find the eye of the universe and not just because at first I was like, oh, you know, the quantum moon goes to places. Why don't you just hitch a ride there then go out? And it's like, no, if you try to hitch a ride, uh. And then leave at the eye of the universe. It just 
uh, boots you back out to where you started. Now mine can have a little mass destruction as a treat. <laughs> Not yeah, let's plan next week, because um God, this is spiraling out of control. Also I'm glad I've been to the Quantum Moon. That was a beautiful that was an amazing experience. Especially of how it reflects the different planets it's visiting and all that. And also we've messed around with the Ash Twin project so much now. Goodness. So many uh <laughs> So many ended timelines, but I mean, I, I mean, you were talking about next week, but I think it's I think it's kind of obvious. First stop, Escape Pod Three, because those on deflections, stress beacons, those. All right, let me go into space. Those sound horrible, but I can directly spot them. I don't have any signal for the uh, vessel itself. That's just not a thing. So, actually, I, I already have a hypothesis of where the vessel is, because in the Dark Bramble... Ooh, thought I was on my ship. <laughs> in the Dark Bramble, uh, when I entered there, there was the... Okay, there was the signal to find Feldspar, which involved, you know, just you know, following the harmonica and whatever uh, portals? Pods? Look, hyperbolic space-time pods or whatever. Uh, following those, you know, you know, following the harmonica to find, uh, to find them. And I, for some reason, gave them a weird Guy Fieri energy, whatever I think of Guy Fieri energy. That was weird. <laughs> but that one was easy enough. But I forgot to check for the distress beacon, which I'm guessing is how I find the escape pod. I have, but while searching in there, there is one of the pods, the light pods, interdimensional, whatever, plant pods, seeds, things, that was red. And there is only one of them. No matter how deep I went into, there is only one of those pods that had a red light on it. And that has to be where the vessel is. And unfortunately, that's also where the, uh, <laughs> the anglerfish breeding ground is. So I think first order business... Escape pod 3. Second order business. The vessel. That's gonna be fun. Oh wait, um, for some reason the, the desktop stream manager wasn't updating the chat. Um, first task, ask Slate for a gun for this anglers. Yes, uh, there's another character you can talk to was a bit of an easter egg, but it would be on the loop that you can't do information hunting on. But it would be a loop that you can't do information hunting on. Interesting. Who? I mean... Oh, would talking to Ryback? Oh yeah, I could talk to Ryback! I bet he would love to hear about... Or why did I keep... I bet they would love to hear about, like, uh, the Nomai and stuff. I don't know if that's who you're talking about, but, I mean, giving them a visit before hitting up Dark Bramble sounds good to me if I can remember to do that, because, uh, yeah. Fuck these anglerfish. <laughs> please. <laughs> uh, please, Slate. We need... Um, auto cannons on the ship. I don't know how they would work. Knowing the ship, they would probably push us back every time we fired, but please, <laughs> please, I hate these anglerfish so much. You've never talked. There. This is a character you've never talked to before. Huh. 
Aha. Uh -huh. That I never talked to before? Who haven't I talked to? I've talked to everyone that is alive and technically to a person who isn't alive. You have to do something that makes it so that you can talk to them. Hmm. Hmm. You have to do something so that it makes it you can talk to them. Hmm. Character you never talked to before. Interesting. You know what? I'll I'll keep my eye on that then. Huh. I'll keep my eye I'll I'll you know what? We can talk about that later. About like possibly talking to them. Or I guess some hint of where slash who that would be. Cause I mean, well I, okay, I technically talk yeah, I talked to Solanum. Technically. Well well, depending on how technical you wanna be, I may have not talked to Solanum. Okay, so it's a character that was added in a patch. I mean... No, I'm... I'm gonna... I'm not gonna do anything real big, but let's... Boop. Who haven't I talked to? Alright. I've... Talk to this hatch like Oh yeah, me Micah, yeah. Oh yeah. Salutation. Oh no! Goodbye! Um... Okay, I forgot that I can warp back. What are you doing back? Did you forget your spacesuit or something? <laughs> nice. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice talking to Marl. Um. I forgot what was said about Mika and and their ship, but let's Mika, Mika. But yeah, now it. Did you create your spacesuit? Marl says, looking down at you in your spacesuit. Yep. But yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching the stream. I guess now. I, I don't know. <laughs> Ah, it's always weird trying to do some sort of ending thing. But, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'm, um, yeah. I stream on Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Eastern U.S. Time, specifically, but, yeah. Ah, this has been fantastic. And thanks again, Binron, <laughs> for suggesting that I go to the Quantum Moon. It was... Fantastic. And... Just for you, Sand Dolphin.
Charles is then about confirmed. Nice. So let's listen to your philosopher. But yeah. Um, yeah, good night. Thanks for watching. Uh Hello. What was that? But yeah, um that blasted my train of thought, but thanks for watching. I stream you know the same time every week, or try to. And uh yeah, if you like the stream, tell some friends. Hopefully friends have seen this game so they don't get spoiled. It's it's kind of weird <laughs> streaming this, and like, I want to get more people to watch this, but also I don't want to spoil people who haven't played this yet. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Good night, y'all.